I'm taking off like a rocket. Sticking in out of my pocket. Geek, don't know how I'm walking. Alright, so we're in After Effects here and I have my clip of Lil Tekka. I got black, I got white, what you want? And we're gonna go ahead and 3D track this layer here. So we wanna right click this and go to track and stabilize and hit track camera. All right, so this may take a while depending on how long your clip is. So I'm just gonna wait. And you can see up here that it's rendering all the frames here and analyzing whatever the background. But yeah, there we go. The camera tracker just finished. And now we have all these points on our footage here. Bro, are you serious right now, bro? All right, so anyways, um, we have our footage here and all these points. So we just wanna find a point to select or like an area of points points to kind of find a good target where we want to create a null so it's going to go like right here you want to right click on the little target and then create null and camera so now we have a null and a camera layer here and we don't really need to touch those we're going to just leave those there we want to go ahead and go to layer new solid Let's create a solid here and we want to go to effects and search up particle and you want to drag on the CC particle world. And then there's a few things we can disable here. We can disable the grid horizon and axis box right there. So now we just have these particles and if you play it back, you can see that it's, I guess, motion tracked, but these particles are awful. Like we definitely want to change these. So we want to go here and change most of these settings. So the birth rate, we can do like 1.5 uh, longevity. We can do like 10 uh, producer. You want to make the radius X like 10, the Y 10 and the Z you can do like 15. Now for the physics, you can mess with these. I'm just going to keep it on explosive for now. We're probably going to come back to the setting later, but I just want to fix some other stuff before that. The velocity and gravity, we can change that later as well. And we just want to open up this particle here. This is where we can actually mess with the particles. And I'm just going to change this to faded sphere. And then we can change the birth size here to something where we can actually see our particles and also you may have to like scrub here because you can see that like it takes a minute for the particles to actually like show up on the screen so what we can do is just drag this solid layer over and just have it start where the particles are actually on the screen here so like that now we can actually see them here and yeah and i'm going to change this death size to 0.5 and this birth size you can kind of change it doesn't really matter what it is um i'm just gonna keep it around 5 5.5 like that and then obviously these are the colors here so what you can do is like use this eyedropper tool and like select a bright area in your scene if you wanted to be like white and kind of like the mid-tones here be like blue so yeah just mess with the colors we can even do green or something a yellow back to the animation here we can see all these different ones like fire this will go up so like rise up um the vortex is pretty cool I think I used this one in the intro scene. I kind of liked how this looked. So just mess with these different animations here until you find something that looks good in your scene. I think I'm gonna leave it on vortex here. And then in the velocity, we can change obviously how fast it is. That's what the velocity is. So if we make it five, it'll be crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't really like how that looks, but I don't know. It may look good in your scene, but for this one, it's super like mellow and slow. You could even lower it down to like 0 0.5 for the velocity. All right, so it's looking pretty good, but as you can see, there's some particles like covering him. Now you can keep it like that if you want, um, but I kind of like the rotoscope him out and then have him above the uh, black solid here. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So we can just duplicate this layer here, put this on top, and then let's just go to the very start and then grab a rotor brush and then double click on this layer. And now we can just start rotor brushing. So I always put this on full here and yeah, just start selecting your subject and try to do a pretty good rotor brush around it because if you have some like sharp edges and stuff, it looks really like weird with the particles. So you wanna make sure that this is looking uh, really clean. So yeah, just go around your subject here, holding all on your keyboard to remove stuff from your selection. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this for this first frame here. Now I'm just going frame by frame, just watching for anything to see if anything messes up. I'm just gonna kind of <laughs> fly through this. It's not for me to say. All right, so that looks pretty good. I just went through all these different frames here. So once you finish that, you just want to freeze this and then just wait for this to finish. All right, so we can now close that layer. And now we're back in the main composition here. And also, I realized we had the 3D camera tracker on this top layer, so we can just delete that. Just keep this rotor brush here. So now our subject is above the particles here and the particles are kind of like behind him. So yeah, that may look good in your scene, may not. You just have to mess with it, see what looks good. I just feel like it makes it look a bit more realistic, so I'm going to keep it in this. All right, so yeah, 
yeah, this is pretty much done. Like you could call this done here, but I'm going to go ahead and add a few more effects to our particle layer here. So the first effect that I'm going to be using is Deep Glow and Deep Glow is a plugin. So if you don't have this, then you might want to go ahead and download it because this is a really nice plugin. I use it for almost all of my effects. You can see that already it's just adding a glow to all these different particles here. And you want to make sure they're required for text is on. And yeah, just scale up the exposure maybe to like two radius up a little bit. And that's already looking super cool. Now we can add some shine. We can go to colorize turn this to none. So it's using the colors from our particles here and we can make the ray length like three. We can lower the opacity to 50 and there we go. Now we got some rays and deep glow for those particles. Now, if your particles were moving like super fast, like when I said it have your velocity up to like five or something like this, uh, this is when I would use like RSMB and put it on this clip so that there's like motion blur. As you can see, there's like motion blur right here. If I turn it off, it's kind of subtle, but that's what just makes the effect kind of look better. It just sells it more. So I'm not going to use RSMB for this because I'm using a velocity of 0.5. So there isn't really much motion blur going on here. I might go back to this animation here and change it to like fire. See what that looks like now. Honestly, fire looks pretty cool. I haven't used this one, so I might just stick with fire for this. I'm going to go ahead and add one more layer a new adjustment layer and we're just going to add some glow this is just a, a sapphire plugin we can lower this down to like 0.7 we can lower this down to like 0.5 and then i'm going to add some shine onto this adjustment layer bring this to none actually what we could do is do one color and just change this color to like a kind of warm orange like that Kind of a tan color and then we want to change this ray length to like three and the opacity let's just lower that down i just like adding these adjustment layers it kind of just fills the scene as with it off i don't know it just adds a bit more i kind of like how that looks so and yeah that's like the finished effect and you guys can mess with the particle effect however you guys want to but this is kind of what i like to use it for so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next video Peace out.